Okay, so my plans definitely changed. I am at the Simple Refugee Bed and Breakfast, which is about a mile from the trailhead where it comes out on KY 421 between Sand Gap and McKee. Um, I was trying to see if I could get a motel in McKee, and apparently that place is no longer uh, in, in service. And doing some checking around, my sister, who I was in contact with via telephone, uh, found this place. And get this for $79, they drove to get me and pick me up. They took me to McKee to get uh, cash out of an ATM machine because they don't accept credit cards. Then they took me to a restaurant to eat. Then they brought me back here. The restaurant was also a store, so I bought some extra snacks and stuff for this evening. Then they brought me back here, uh, showed me around the place. Told me to uh, let them know when I was awake and they would make me breakfast. And uh, basically the room has a uh, bed downstairs, two beds upstairs. It has a mini refrigerator, a coffee maker, a bathroom with a shower, and it's decorated in a very, very nice, rustic way. The guy told me he built this for his grandchildren but like they don't visit as often and uh i asked him if he no wanted another grandchild because i would certainly volunteer so 79 dollars now that doesn't mean it'll be 79 dollars you know i don't i don't know they could raise the price so don't hold me to that amount but for what you get it is absolutely worth it. You know, I haven't even showed you anything outside, but this is just the inside. I'm just amazed at this place. I've walked around it, I don't know how many times. Um, there's reading material, books. I think there's a TV over in the corner cabinet, too. I saw a remote over there for a TV. So I, I bet there's a TV in there, kind of like they do down in Gatlinburg. I always put the TV in the corner. Um, but wow. This is really something. A lot of antiques here. It's like every time I walk around, I see something new that I didn't see the first time. So, uh, <clears throat> a good friend of mine said, it's almost like an adventure on its own, and it kind of is. It's a really old wood burning stove, wood burning cook stove and oven. <laughs> old uh, coffee pots. Yeah, this is like really, really cool. Definitely recommend this. Again, it is either uh, it is I'm sorry, it is simple refugee bed and breakfast. Um, I'll add their contact information to this part of the video. I'm not sure if it'll be a separate part or part of the actual. 
uh, day's agenda for the trail. So there's coffee, uh, games, books, fireplace, a couple of electric heaters I saw stashed away in the corners. Did I even show the upstairs? I, I'm not going to go upstairs, but I'll just show you. It's got a stairway. It goes up. And the upstairs, a couple beds, light. I see a table up there. Chair. On my zero day, I'm making sure that I'm charging literally everything that has rechargeable batteries. That includes my H1R headlamp, my MP3 player, the camera that I'm recording this video with, and I've already recharged my cell phone and my Anchor battery pack. Um, I'm using the dual anchor wall charger and then I have a bag of electronic cables and spare batteries that are for the camera um, they're higher capacity batteries than the original one that come with it and because they don't weigh very much I just carry two extra batteries that usually gives me a run time out of the factory battery and the two extras of about four days per charge and then I can recharge through the cell phone so let me show you what else I did today the owner of the bed and breakfast told me he was going into town and wanted to know if I needed anything and I said do they have a pharmacy and he said yeah there's a Rite Aid so I went into Rite Aid and I picked up two knee braces you might ask why I picked up two and the reason is um, my left knee was already in pretty bad shape I mean it, it was really difficult to walk this morning when I got up the right knee has a little bit of pain in it also so I figure it's probably not too far behind the other one and it's going to be just as bad so with the braces on these braces are kind of expensive and kind of heavy so if you're an ultralight hiker, you're probably going to cuss and holler that it weighs, you know, pound, pound and a half, whatever it weighs. But what makes it different than the others is there's a metal rod that runs from here to here where there's a pivot point. Then to here where there's another pivot point. Then down to here on both sides of the knee. And what that does is that stabilizes the knee cap. Of course, there are straps at the top and bottom that, that just totally isolates the kneecap from moving. And that movement is actually what your where your pain comes from. Um, I've used these before. I actually have one of them at home. I considered bringing it on this hike. But because it does weigh a pound or a pound and a half, I left it at home. What did that cost me? That cost me to have to buy two on the trail. <laughs> so, oh well. It happens. And another option... I also picked up a roll of uh, KT tape. Um, if you search for KT tape on YouTube, you will find a lot of videos. It's super useful tape to have around. It's also kind of heavy. I've used it in the past also. You can also make a knee brace out of it. That works very well. And I assume that, or I, I kind of figured I'll try the hinge knee braces first. And if it doesn't work, I'll switch to the KT tape. And if that doesn't work, maybe a combination of the two will solve this issue. Because although I originally came to the bed and breakfast yesterday evening and stayed overnight and was going to go back on the trail this morning, I had to take an actual zero day today and I have to go back on the trail tomorrow morning. Without a doubt, I have to go back on the trail tomorrow morning because this cabin at this bed and breakfast is already reserved for the next several days after tomorrow morning. So I have to leave tomorrow morning, whether I'm ready or not. And if I'm going to leave, it's going to be to the trail. Um, 
But being taking this day off the trail, I've basically laid around on the bed all day. Um, another thing I've been doing throughout yesterday evening, night, and this morning is using an ice ice on my leg. Um, I don't know that I videotaped that. I'll probably put a picture up right here. Um, so basically I put ice on my leg for about 30 minutes, then I take it off, stick it back in the freezer, and about an hour later I do it again. Um, the ice helps with inflammation. Uh, speaking of, while I was at the... Uh, while I was at the store buying the braces, I also picked up some Advil. Um, I had Advil on the trail, but I used already most of them, so I picked up some more. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, one other thing. The lady at this bed and breakfast, when I went over this morning, you know, they give you a free breakfast, but I skipped it. And she told me she made me some brownies, and then she handed me a gallon bag Clear full of brownies. I ate one out of it already. They're really delicious. And uh, she made this for my journey, not knowing that I was going to spend another day um, because of my injury. Um, another thing is I have, like, my socks <laughs> hanging out in the laundry uh, hamper, uh, which I uh, hand-washed in the sink. And uh, then over here, I also have my shorts and shirt that I hand washed in the sink. So uh, I'll be good to go tomorrow morning. Everything will be charged. Everything will be clean. Everything will be working. And I'll be updating videos once again. I have about 130 miles to the finish line, by the way. And uh, we're going to make it.